Hello and welcome to TMS tutorial. In this tutorial, I will give you a step by step demonstration of TMS. Any beneficiary who wants to avail the services through the scheme should first be registered either through direct or telephonic registration. When I say beneficiary, I mean a person who has already been authenticated and verified through beneficiary identification system. To register a patient, you should first log in using the Metco login ID and password. After login, a dashboard appears which shows all the statistical data. First, I would like you to know the menu and some menus involved in the system. There are four menus patient, case search, pre auth, and claims. Under patients, there are four submenus: patient, register patient, register patient view, telephonic registered patients, OP registered cases. Through cases search, we can search different cases using different criteria like case number, card number, patient name, category, procedure name, case status, registered from date and registered to date. The third menu is pre-auth which is used for pre-authorization. There are five sub-menus, pre-auth initiation, pre-auth updation, case for surgery update, case for discharge update and cancel pre-auth. The fourth menu is claims. There are two sub-menus. One is claim initiation and the other is claim updation. To register a patient, you need to go to patient menu and click on register patient. We will see three mandatory fields. First state. For this demo, I am using the data of Manipur state. There are different parameters in ID type like ration card number, mobile number, AB and HPM ID, Aadhaar ID and any other family card number. I am using mobile number. When we click on retrieve, we can see all the beneficiaries registered using this ID. Click on the radio button. for which the patient has to be registered. Click on proceed. Here we can see that all the information is pre-filled. This information comes from the beneficiary identification system. Click on action type, register and click on register. It shows us the message, do you want to register patient? Click on OK. A unique registration ID is generated. In this demo, it's 3973. Once the patient, patient has been registered, we can see the patient under registered patient view. Click on the registration number to open the page. Here the next step is to convert the patient, registered patient into IP that is inpatient. Click on the radio button next to IP. It shows us the message do you want to convert, the, do you want to convert this patient as inpatient. Once the patient has been converted into inpatient, we can see the five different tabs. First is general investigation, general findings. Second is personal history.
third is past and family history fourth is symptoms and fifth is general investigations medco needs to fill all the necessary and mandatory fields required for the case fill the category fill the category for which the treatment has to be given to select the investigation click on the investigation which has to be selected like for example in this case clinical notes have to be added and click on add specialty specialty added successfully here we can see the category and the procedure which is to be used and upload the clinical notes fill in the ip number admission type proposed surgery date patient diagnosed by after all the mandatory and required fields have been filled select the action type as ip submit and click on submit it shows do you want to register patient case click on okay here patient has been converted to inpatient once the patient has been converted to inpatient pre auth has to be generated to generate uh, to initiate a pre auth click on pre auth menu and click on pre auth initiation sub menu open the case number for which the pre auth has to be initiated go to the pre authorization tab and fill in all the mandatory fields like whether the procedural consent has been taken whether medical or cardiology clearance has to be taken and blood tra blood transfusion has to be done or not fill in the remarks select action type as save and click on submit now here we can see please make sure that you download the prf form so that it can be uploaded in the attachment once we have saved the pre auth initiation now here we can see that there is an initiate option also click on the initiate option attach the signed and authorized copy of authorization request form select the action type as initiate make sure you have filled all the mandatory fields and the fields which are required for the case and click on submit it shows the message do you want to initiate pre auth now there are two types of pre authorizations one is auto approved and one is manual manually approved pre auth 
manually approved prior is preauthorized by the panel doctor once the doctor has approved the preauthorization the case will reflect under case for surgery updation once the preauth has been given preauthorization has been given we can see the case under surgery updation click on the case number and fill in all the mandatory fields here the bedco can also submit the clinical notes like bp pulse rate temperature what type make sure that all the fields have been filled properly i'll suggest you to save the cases so that the information doesn't lose so that you don't lose the information under surgery updation also there are few attachments which are mandatory like on the bed photograph and operational documents Once all the necessary and mandatory fields uh, reports have been uploaded, come back to the surgery discharge page and click on sum submit surgery. When you click on submit surgery, it shows you a message you want to submit. Click on OK. It shows the message surgery updated. once the surgery has been updated now you can see the case under discharge updation click on the case number under the same dis summary discharge tab you can see a new tab has opened discharge summary which says discharge summary fill in the necessary and mandatory fields like treatment given operative findings post operative period post surgery therapy and investigations given status at the time of discharge click on discharge or death which occur whichever has occurred in this case in case of discharge a new form will open fill in the necessary details like discharge date next follow up date and in case of death a separate form opens fill in the de death date and cause of death here we are selecting the discharge i have filled in the discharge date as well as the next follow up date make sure you have uh, filled in all the mandatory fields here Gen and download generate patient satisfaction letter as well as the print discharge summary form click on save here it will show you a message that once the discharge has been updated you cannot change the discharge summary no changes can be done in it click on okay now here we can see a submit tab when 
you click on submit it will show you a message please add, add the discharge photo as well as the discharge summary documents Once the necessary photos have uh, documents have been uploaded, attached, come back to the surgery discharge tab and click on submit. Now it shows the message do you want to submit click on ok discharge has been updated here once the patient has been discharged the next step for the medco is to initiate the claim click on the case number for which the claim has to be initiated click on the claims tab enter the bill date and type in the remarks attach the necessary documents which has to be submitted or to raise the claim like the bill attachment case sheet has to be attached clinical photos and claims attachment come back to the claims tab and select the action type as initiate claim and click on submit it shows a message do you want to initiate the claim click on ok now here it will show you a message claim case has been success successfully initiated by Metco now here the role of Metco is complete once the claim has been initiated now the claim will go to the claim executive A new case can be seen under the claims menu. Click on claims updation. Click on the case number. Under claims tab, there is a checklist which has which the claims executor has to fill. whether the name of the patient in the case sheet as well as the consent form is the same gender is the same whether the beneficiary photo matches with the discharge photo and on bed photo whether the admission surgery therapy date and discharge date matches with the online date Signature of the patient is matching in the consent form, counseling form as well as the satisfaction letter. Does the patient satisfaction letter has a positive feedback? Reports are signed by the doctor along with the registration number. Whether the patient name as well as the dates are current, correctly mentioned in the report. Now here the claims executive will enter his remarks. 
and then the claim executor will forward the case to the claims panel doctor it shows the message do you want to forward the claim okay now the claim has been forwarded to the claims panel doctor the claims doctor can also see his or her new case under the claims menu when when the doctor clicks on claim updation he can see all the new cases click on the case number under the claims tab the doctor also needs to fill in a checklist whether the evidence is supporting the diagnostics whether the protocol was standard protocol was followed during the treatment proper therapy was given and all the mandatory reports have been attached here the doctor fills in the remark now you can see under the action type there are three types of action one is pending one is approve and one is reject if the doctor selects pending the case will again go back to the medco medco has to submit all the necessary documents which have which has been asked by the claims panel doctor once the medco submits the case back the case will directly come to the panel doctor once this procedure is done once once this process is done then the claims panel doctor can see only two options under action type approve and reject then the claims panel doctor can either approve the case or reject the case in this case we, we are approving the case the it will show us a message do you want to approve click on okay claim has been approved by cpd now i will show you under medco login here we can see that the case has been cpd approved that is the claims panel doctor has approved the case this brings us to the end of the demo thank you